What's up, Instagram Live? Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you're tuning in, I'd love to know, number one, where you're tuning in from. Number two, love to know three things you're grateful for out there in the universe today. Amir, what's up, buddy? Nice to see you. Welcome back. Um, today's topic, we're on day number 98 of 100-day personal performance and business growth challenge. And on this day, um, I, I, I just wanted to talk about the concept of how to squeeze the most out of every moment you have. And, and so there's kind of four sections here to think about. This is a training I did for a company a couple of days ago. What is up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Um, and, and it's something to think about. It's going to be a short and quick one, but hopefully it's powerful and useful. Hello from Barcelona. Nice to see you. Um, so to start with, let's start with every hour. If you look at every hour of your life, what you want to figure out is what is each hour of your life worth to you? What is each hour of your life worth to you? If you sit down and you think about it, what kind of ROI do you need to get from each hour of your life for you to look back and go, wow, that was worth an hour of my life? What kind of ROI do you need to get? Is it feeling a certain way? Is it making so much progress? Is it having a certain kind of experience each hour? Is it being in alignment with you knowing what you know you're meant to be doing with your life? Is it a certain amount of money you need to make? Is it a certain relationship that needs to develop? But if we were going to start this, I'd love to know in the comments real quick, what ROI, return on investment, are you looking for for each hour of your life? If you were to scan back over the last two or three hours of your life, what kind of return, number one, were you expecting or wanting? And number two, did you get it? Creating positive, lasting impact. Having, or have a great day, everyone. Cool. Uh, Making progress. Okay, cool. So what kind of ROI do you personally demand of yourself to get from each hour of your day? Um, fulfillment, to really enjoy each hour, okay? Now, this is, this, is, this is literally a game-changing question for a lot of people because most of us have never thought of this. We never thought of what kind of ROI do I want from each moment or each hour of my day? What do I want to experience? I want to experience happiness, fulfillment. I expect to give value. Okay, good. How much value do you expect to give? How much happiness do you expect to experience? Calm. How much calm do you expect to experience? These are kind of things where if you think about it, then you can look back at the last hour and say, hey, did I get the return on investment I really desired? Um, I I posted a quote this morning from Warren Buffett. He said, what's amazing is most people say that time is more valuable than money, but if you look at their calendar, it ain't true because most people are using so much time to do things that are robbing them of happiness, robbing them of their their progress, robbing them of of anything they really want out of life. All these things you listed, progress, happiness, joy, peace, calm. You're doing things every hour of your life that rob you from experiencing this stuff. And you could easily set aside some money and pay someone else to do it for you and then give yourself an hour of the ROI you really demand. You can give yourself an hour of calm and let someone else clean the house for an hour. You can give yourself an hour of progress and learning something and let someone else handle your calls for you that day. You you could give yourself an hour of uh, any of these other stuff. I want to finish each hour feeling I contributed. So you could spend an hour contributing in some way and hire someone else to help make you money so that you can focus on contributing and they focus on helping make you money. There's so many ways to do this, but most of us, most of us, do not think of the ROI per hour of what we're looking for. And I'm not talking about just money. I'm, you know, listen to what people are saying here. You know, they're talking about calm or happiness or joy. They're talking about freedom with their family. They're talking about doing the stuff they love, making progress on something, learning something. You could spend an hour doing all those things, but instead you're so busy doing stuff that you think you have to do that instead of actually getting the ROI that you desired from that hour. So number one, what's the ROI you demand from every hour of your life? Number two, how do you interact with people around you? And let's shift a little perspective on this. When you're out 
and you're interacting with human beings around you, how do you treat them? Now, I've been on both sides of this. I've been the kind of person who've treated people really well, and I've been treated really well. I've been the kind of guy, by accident, when I'm not at my best self, it happens every now and then, where someone says something and I go, ugh, and I'm pissed at that person, and they're annoying, and, and, what a, and I have all kinds of terms for them in and, and the not-so-positive light. And then I look back and went, wow, I didn't treat that human very well. I could do better than that. And, and so to change the perspective on how you treat humans, big question. If you found out that that person in front of you right now only had five days left to live and you cared about them, so let's say you cared about them and they only had five days left to live, would you treat them any differently? Would you be a little more kind to them? Would you celebrate something they did right? Would you be more loving and supportive to them? Would you take a breath and go, my God, five days left. What could I do to support you? Would you be willing to support them in their journey? If all you did was shift the perspective, we shift the perspective on time and say, hey, how do I get the return on investment out of this? How do I get the return on investment from each hour of my life? And what kind of return do I want to demand from life? You know, what about people? What if you found out that person only had a week left? Would you help them do something they always dreamed of? You know, this happened to one of my family members recently, my mom. Um... She was getting to the point where she only had a couple weeks left. And one of the greatest experiences I've had thus far in life was being able to fly up there and spend the final three weeks of her life with her and ask her that question. Mom, if you could do anything, if you could have anything, if you could experience anything, you tell me anything you want and I'll make it happen. She's like, really? She's like, yeah, what do you want? What do you dream of? You could have anything in the world. What do you want? And, and it was so sweet. She said, a double-double from in and out. <laughs> I was laughing. I said, okay. So my wife and I started joking. We said, double, double on the double. Let me figure out how the hell do we make this happen because I do not know how to FedEx a hamburger from California to Asheville. <laughs> but we went to the, the Whole Foods and we found a way to make one for her. We said, what else do you want? She said, I want, I want a Hawaiian pizza. We said, okay, we'll make that. What else do you want? I want an orange creamsicle right up, coming right up. And, and it was pretty simple. Those are the things she really wanted. And, and you know, we pushed her long enough to try to get healthy, and we got to that point of no return. And we said, hey, you know, if, if this is her time, if these are her few weeks here, how can we give her everything she dreams of? And, that, you know, would you change that perspective? So how do you get the ROI you want on each hour of your life? How, do you, how would you treat people differently if you found out they only had so many days, weeks, or hours left to live? The third one, uh, this comes down to relationships, you know, one of my friends, um, one of my friends was at the airport and he looked over and he saw this father ju just ripping into one of his little kids, just yelling at him, you little blah, 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 blah. And he commented on a picture. He goes, wow, this guy was being a total jerk to his kids. I, I bet he wouldn't be acting that way if one of them went missing for a couple weeks. And I thought about that. I went, wow, that's true. That's really true. You know, if, if one of those kids that he's so upset with all of a sudden got diagnosed with a life-threatening disease, I bet he'd treat him differently instantly. You know, if that kid disappeared for 30 days and, and you know, someone kidnapped the kid or not going to win, it never happens. But if, if it did, if something happened to that child, I bet he would treat him drastically different almost instantly. You know, I bet that dad who's so mad and so aggressive and, and, and so mean to that person and all of a sudden the kid disappears and he realizes how beautiful and how amazing that is and that dad would be on his knees crying and praying and when that kid came back, it would be the greatest experience of that father's life. And all these things are perspective. They're shifting perspective that gives you a radically, totally different experience of life. Number one. Your ROI on time. What's the ROI you demand from every hour of your life? That's a game changer if you figure it out and you demand it and you're willing to say, hey, time is way more important than money and I'm going to invest to free up my time to give myself the ability to have more of the ROI I want from every hour of life. Two, how would you treat people if you, know, you found out they only had so many days left to live? Three, how would you go about the interactions with the one you love if they went missing and all of a sudden they showed up and you thought they were gone and realized they were still alive. You hear these stories of people 
who, who they lost their sibling years ago or, or were born and never knew they had a sibling. And 20 years later, they finally get to meet this person and go, oh my gosh, wow. And it's amazing how that relationship instantly changes. The final one, if you think about this in a business sense, and this is a 100-day personal performance and business growth challenge, from the business sense, how would you treat every client if they were the only client you had and your entire business depended on them? How would you treat every single client if they were the only client you had and your entire business depended on them? And, and that's our fourth perspective for this little chat here because I have an odd feeling the way some of us treat our clients after so much time goes by isn't the way we would treat them if they were the only client we had and our whole business depended on them. And, and really, truly, if you looked at the every, every relationship, every uh, person you do business with, and you said, wow, I'm gonna, in my mind, I'm gonna see them as my only client and my whole business depends on them and I am going to make sure they are a raving fan. I'm gonna do everything I can to rock their world to the best of my ability at all times. And if you treat each client like that, you'll be wildly impressed at what happens to your business. Um, I'm gonna jump. Hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this is useful. If it is, share it with someone who needs to see this. And hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow for day number 99 of our 100-day personal performance and business growth challenge. See y'all later.